I'm gonna get this woman. This woman. I don't think I quite caught the fact she had a cigarette in her mouth, but... Oh no, that first one's dope! That first one's dope! Yes! Love that! Alright, we're off to a great start with that first photo. This is POV Street Photography Barcelona, shooting on the Fujifilm X-E4. You know how much I love this camera for shooting street photography. This is actually the second POV Street Photography from Barcelona, so if you're interested in seeing the first one, go check that out. I recorded that last night. Uh, this one, I'm in the city centre, and I've been walking around for the last few hours. I've been shooting on the Sony all morning. I've warmed up. I'm in the, like, you know, the flow state, you know what I mean? I'm feeling good, and I'm excited to start shooting this because the lighting and the shadows in this area specifically is damn awesome. Now, one of the biggest things I've noticed this morning is there seems to be a lot of characters around Barcelona. And what I mean by that is just unique, interesting people. So that is the biggest goal for this POV, is to capture the unique characters of Barcelona. So yep, show on the Fujifilm X-E4. You know how much I love this camera. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Unique backdrop right now of that shot. And get like someone walking past us. Let's get this girl. I could have got that one better. I like it. So my train of thought is died. I literally went to say that. I am. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hang on. Sorry. I don't want to get too in people's faces. I don't want to like disturb anyone, but I just really want to try and push my own limits with capturing people in, like doing things. I think that's well overexposed actually. I love 
know, I love this type. Like, I hope even boss has got some really unique types. I love it. You know, Boston and Strikes is a really like arty city. Really, um, I actually got past it earlier and got shot in there. I don't want to be there for too long, I don't want to impede or ruin the moment for that I think I could already sort of tell what I'm doing about unique characters. Banger after banger, man. This is going on. Loving this. I'm probably in like flow state of like I've warmed up. We've been talking for a few hours now. I'm like I'm just seeing photography. I don't know. I can't explain it. Just flow state is probably the best explanation. I got missed, but that was well off her. Yeah, that's a dope show, I actually love it. I'm still walking this direction, but I'm like, just not thinking it. All right, McDonald's for lunch. A better shot if I was close to it, but we'll take all we can get in that one. Ooh, here we go, which way? Left, right. Left is more sunlight.
I really like the shadows in that shot. And then he's like silhouetted, you can't really tell much like details about him, but I like the shadows in that. Slowly making my way down towards the Cathedral of Barcelona. That is the next stop. And then, this is just continuing down from there to the, to the beach, I think. That's the plan. And then I'm going to head back up because I've got uh, into the uh, La Familia thing. I can't remember what it's called. There's a big famous thing. over here than that. Almost still wet then, but then kind of made the guy in the background the focus instead. Seems like a drought. Oh, I like that. A 
of dope shots. Really like that. Okay. See, the rule is you don't shoot when the sun's at its highest, like right now. It's too bright. The rules are meant to be broken. That's so why if you learn the rules, you learn how you can break them. So like right now, this makes for like, you want really contrasted lights versus shadows. And this is the time you want to be shooting in somewhere like, you know, like a location like this. Cathedral of Barcelona. That was definitely, I think it was close to Italian. I'm really bad at accents. As you can probably tell. It's giving me Harry Potter vibes. I don't think I've taken enough time today to appreciate where I am. That is bloody awesome. Really nice moment to capture that one.
interesting way of putting it. Graffiti sucks like deep throat. this guy down the end here. And it captures from here. I just want to try and get closer and get a good shot. These pillars, the lighting, this just looks like an awesome scene. Really like them. Third it from further back. Just small. Yeah, I think that's probably. I think it's a pretty dope so a couple of photos in this video. On, I'm gonna grab a coffee. So, enjoy the video. Thumbs up, down below, subscribe if you want to read all the other stuff that YouTubers tell me to do or tell you to do. Even don't tell me to do, tell you to do. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to take a shot. Peace.